Right, we've got a uh, P4 international A-level Jan 2023. Some parametric equations here. We've got set points defined by these parametric equations. Uh, I'm going to show all the points line a straight line. Uh, and then uh, find the x coordinate at the point of intersection of this line uh, with the line with the equation y equals x plus 12. Um, the, the, it's sort of suggesting we want to try and get the Cartesian equation and show it's a, a straight line. So uh, so that's that's what we'll do. Uh, we need to eliminate the t. So uh, we need to make t the subject of one of them and uh, sub it into the other. I'm going to make t the subject of this one. Looks the easiest. Uh, flip the y and the two t plus one round, subtract the one and uh, and divide by uh, divide by two. I'll make it into one fraction. Uh, start off with because it's, I think it's easier to, to handle. Um, so make this into one fraction and divide by two. Then I need to sub this into the x parametric equation. So I'll have uh, that uh, six minus y over two y minus one, and then two lots of it plus one at the bottom. Uh, Need to, I'm going to simplify this. Uh, I can multiply the top and bottom by 2y. Uh, so this term is just going to be 6 minus y. And this is going to be minus 2y. This will be 2 lots of 6 minus y. Uh, and then I've got another 2y there. If I simplify it, then um, 6 minus 3y on the top. The bottom line just becomes 12. Uh, these two, minus 2y and 2y cancel each other out. Uh, I'll divide top up by three as well, make it a bit simpler. Um, and uh, if I get into the form y equals, um, and it shows it's linear. This one does as well, really. It's, it's, there's no x, y terms, no squares. It's just x's and y. So uh, it's a linear a linear equation, lies in a straight line. Uh, and that's, that's the equation. And then, hence or otherwise, find the x coordinate at the point of intersection. So we're going to solve these simultaneously. So we put them equal to each other. And um, sometimes you'd sub these parametrics into the x plus y equals x plus 12, and then find out what t is and sub back in. But there's no need here because uh, they're pretty basic straight line equations. Um, and this just gives you x is equal to minus 2. Uh, a different way of doing it, um, we could try and find out what dy by dx is and show that it's constant. Um, and of course, parametrically, we just do dy over dt over dx over dt. dx over dt, I'm going to use a quotient rule. So the bottom times the top differentiated minus the top times the bottom differentiated all over the bottom squared. That top line just simplifies down to 3. The y, um, well, to get dy by dt, I'm going to write it uh, in this form. And then use the chain rule and stick the minus 1 in front. So it's minus 6. Then I'll have 2t plus 1 to the power of minus 2 multiplied by 2, the bracket differentiated, giving me minus 12 over 2t plus 1 squared. And if I put that into here, uh, these are 2t plus 1 squared sort of cancel. I can multiply the top and bottom by 2t plus 1 squared, really, uh, giving me minus 4. I'm going to even then um, find out what the equation of the line is, because I know the gradient is always minus 4, so it is linear. But uh, I can find the equation of the line and, and uh, solve it simultaneously with y equals x plus 12 to do part b. Just sub in t is equal to zero, I think is probably the easiest. Just to find a point that um, the, the line lies on, giving me x is equal to uh, minus 1 uh, and y is equal to 6. And then if we use y equals mx plus c, it tells me that, tells me that c is equal to 2.